All right. Today I'm going to show you how you can create your own bootable repair disc the, um, with the help of AOMI PE Builder. Let me show you what it looks like here. Now this is what it looks like. Now I'll show you where to go get it. I already got the browser open. Now me myself, I didn't want to type all that in, so I just typed in AOMI, spell A-O-M-E-I, PE Builder and click right there on the top link free download free to use for as long as you want this is just really nice now when you get this done you need to put portable apps inside it they all have to be portable every one of them have to be portable now here is one place you can go to go get them I went to cameo.com now you, you can download Cameo and they even build you apps. You can create your own using this this application. And you can go right down here to the very bottom left hand corner of their page. And they have a whole bunch of them already created. I mean there's Firefox, you got Picasa, Google Chrome, and categories right here. You got the uh, you got uh, browsers, communication, education, media, photos, security. Now in here you're going to have antiviruses and stuff like that. There's super anti-spyware portable, um, the spy bot search and destroy, also a good one, and utilities. There's team viewer for remote access, Virtual Box, RinRar, I mean, it just goes on and on and on. It's really, really nice. All of these are portable, and you just simply click on it and download each one, and they're, they're, they're all small, except for the security ones. All right, now, I've already got a folder created. I made one, I put it on my desktop and named it Utilities, and now this is what I'm going to put in it. These are just some of my most favorite combo fix. ADW cleaner. Now this in here, I'm not sure if it'll work, but this is their portable version. Uh, Super anti spyware malware bytes, junkware removal tool. <clears throat> All right, let's get started. You click next. Now this tells you de detects that your system supports creating a bootable media. Please click next button to continue. Now these are tools that they've already put in there. You can uncheck them or check the ones that are not checked in. Now there's everything. That's kind of a neat one. I'm going to check that off. And there's a bunch more there and there's some for system. All right. Now here you can add drivers. That's a really nice thing there. I really like that. You can add files. And then it gives you the option to add a file or a folder and it's going to be labeled as my tools you can rename that if you want let's see I'm gonna add a folder because I've already got this one here built and let's see let's see uh, see if I can find desktop there it is utilities select folder and OK now I'm going to click next. Now it gives you the option to burn to a CD or a DVD depending on how big or how many tools you put in there. It's a really good idea to uh, leave, them, leave them small. USB boot tool. You can make a bootable USB drive. And me myself, I'm just going to make an ISO file and I'm going to attach it to this machine here which is my virtual machine. So I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to leave it set as my desktop and click next. Now this whole process here takes three to five minutes. So I'll be right back once that's done. Okay, that whole deal there, it did. It took four, a little over four minutes. Now here is the ISO file. I'm going to attach it to this machine here on its virtual optical drive and show you how it boots up. I'll be right back. Okay, it's loading up. Now this is created on like a Windows environment. It's, it's real easy to use. 
give it a second here. Okay. This is a little slow because this is my virtual machine. I can only allow it half the RAM of my host machine. Alright. Looks like it's going to install drivers for it to run. Yeah. Now this is this is really nice. These are typically built for computers that have completely crashed. I mean, that won't even boot up. Sometimes they won't even get into safe mode. And this is really handy. Oh, they even got a computer. Now here's my tools. You got reboot, shutdown, disk management. These are all the tools that Naomi has put in there already. Now let's try to open up one of my tools that I that I have. Let's see, uh, and we'll just do AD, ADW Cleaner. I agree. Well, that opened up just great. Alright, let's see, uh, let's see, uh, Malware Bytes. Do I dare? This is made by Cameo. They always ask you this the very first time. I could click that, leave it that temp permanently. Well, let's see. I don't know. I don't think that one's going to open up. Okay, well, not every tool will work. But there you go. You got combo fix. I'm sure that would work. Tweaking.com. Let's give that a shot. Let's see if you find application. Yep, that works great. Okay, there you go. Your own recovery disk. Thank you very much for watching.